Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to my channel. I am doing a year review on EDC. Um, just an additional thing that I carry on me. Um, some more things that I came to see in handy. Um, I love making these videos. Uh, not everybody that you know is like-minded or the interests might be the same and showing it on a platform like this makes it a lot more better um, other people get to enjoy what you see and you get great ideas off of other people's things so I'm hoping that this video serves that purpose for you guys um, I'm going to be showing my Maxpedition uh, single strap uh, shoulder bag I don't know if I can get it all in there right uh, we are going to be reviewing everything that is in here I've I have my personal EDCs in here for the sake of me getting up and showing you what I have in my pocket I've already put them in here um, it, it would be as of the purpose if I were to have to leave this somewhere I'll just take my regular things with me uh, besides the point let's go ahead and uh, start going through this bad boy and see what we can find um, this this serves a, a different kinds of purposes for me. This can serve anything from regular work tools to uh, a wide variety of, of things. And this is exactly what I mean. Um, I got things that I would need on a daily basis. Maybe not everybody else, but I find them necessary. Um, I got, let's start off in here. A little bit of lubricant, always necessary. Um, it, you can lubricate your firearm with it. Uh, anything that really needs it, you'd be surprised how much that comes in handy. Um, I know this doesn't look like much, but this is a uh, almost of a grappling hook. Um, it has a magnetized tip. Let's see if we can maybe give you a different idea of this it has a magnetized tip you just tie it onto a piece of rope if you extend the bottom put all three of those pins in there you can imagine them being sticking out so there's three pins in there okay and uh, let's say you drop your keys in a gutter uh, something metal that you might need to retrieve attach a piece of string to this send it down boom magnet tip up come the keys you know very simple this I've had for my last one my SOG multi-tool whistle uh, flint um, what is it a titanium tip to be able to shatter glass get out of a vehicle etc etc um, as I said flint a fire starter on the tip of this, it also holds some candle, um, be able to facilitate your fire starting. Move my hands out of the way, huh? Uh, next in line, we have a pry bar tool. Absolutely handy. I've had to open windows for people's keys getting locked in their car or jam the door or something and, you know, comes in clutch all the time a different gear system a lot of people know what this is it's just an adjustable mini wrench is what it is um, car batteries small things boom just adjust it on the on the spot uh, we also have our o light you know small flashlight okay fantastic put it on your cap etc Let's see what we got back here. I'm trying to make this nice and quick for you guys. A little bit of string again, so we're able to tie down the grappling hook and send it anywhere if we need to. I believe I have some black gloves, just mechanic gloves, not necessarily for um, any trauma situations, field notes, you know, just in case I need to like touch something that I'm not too sure about. Uh, tweezers, tweezers come in handy all the time. 
uh, get a splinter, stuff like that. I also have three of these rain ponchos. As I said, this, this fits a wide variety for me. Um, I believe whatever I need to get done with, with the tools that I have are perfect for my scenario. Uh, again, if it doesn't fit your scenario, I you know, great. If it does, I'm glad you took something out of it. Um, you know, if it doesn't, you know, I'm glad you watched. You know, it maybe interested you in, in certain tools, things like that. Let me go ahead and zip that up. As you can tell, I also have uh, beads in quite a bit of these little tools. They're they're kind of like a unique stamp of they're all mine. So that's always good. Let's put that to the side and continue. Um, I have a bandana. This is a light strap. Very simple, you know, exterior mod. You can, you know, tie a bandana for whatever reason you, you may need. Um, whether blow your nose or cover your face, etc. Uh, some glove, a, a glove hanger, you know, I'm able to pull my gloves there. Let's try to open this so you guys can see. I have a miniature blanket in there. Um, okay, it extends to a, a decent amount of blanket, and this is more of you go to the park and you, you know, grass is wet, but you want to sit down, you go somewhere, you know, boom, bust this out. You know, it's a conversation piece. Uh, let's go back in there. Some wipes, dude wipes, always come in handy. You know, I got some whatever on my clothes. Let me go ahead and wipe that off. Like kids, yeah, ketchup stains all over their face before, you know, whatever, dinner. Let's wipe that off. You know, very, very convenient. I also have these dry tablets, add a little bit of water, boom, you got another towel on there. Uh, I do have a CPR small face shield. Um, you never know when you come in handy, you know, someone might need your help and you have to, you know, be as cautious as possible with also lending a hand, you know. Um, I believe in here I have band-aids couple pain pain pills advils um i believe these are allergy pills and then as i said in this small pack some band-aids just flung out of my my hand like that okay and then this is uh one of those things that as I said, when you look at other people that have the similarities as you do the same interests, you're going to catch some things. This I cannot take credit for. I caught it off of somebody else. The idea of having the dividers between things. Um, I have a tiny survival guide. It is an actual book. I'm not maybe going to take everything out of here. I'll just show you what it's got. It's an actual book. It gives you ideas, different ways, compasses, you know, etc. You can... You can look these items up if you would like and um, be able to purchase them for yourself. This is a tiny survival card, excuse me, tiny survival card, and it has a little lockpick thing. Um, I don't think tiny survival card came with this one originally. I believe I got this off of another vendor. I couldn't tell you who it is, but you can look these up and it'll come out. Um, let's see, on the tiny survival card, let's see what we got going on over there. Okay, maybe another little last ditch effort knife, saw, uh, things of that nature. This is one of those flat magnifying glasses. I know they have a specific name, I'm not sure. Um, you know, you need to get into something where you're reading or honestly, you can start a fire with that. You know, all you need the power of the sun, of course. Uh, you know, your backup beard comb, hello, you know. Uh, a card you can shred this up make different things with it um, whatever you imagine however far it can take you uh, miniature glow sticks um, these are all taped up haven't been cracked yet um, I'm able to illuminate myself in the dark for for a while maybe leave a trail for somebody again however deep your imagination takes you uh, I know I do have a signal mirror in here. 
my signal mirrors, and then fishing string for the survival cards, little fishing hooks, um, you know, you're, you're going to need it. You're, if you have it, why not have the string? So, let's go back here. Let's see if I can get this in there. Now we're just trying to do as quick as a, as a review for you guys so you guys can see the new things that I've updated on. Um, uh, let's go on the side pocket. What I would daily carry on myself is a multi-tool. I've gone into uh, a little more depth in my last video with this one. Same multi-tool, same case. Um, you can check that video out. Um, I got one of the Neo Mags uh, pocket clips for my magazine. Um, this I actually carry, um, if I'm carrying my firearm, I'm carrying this, right? Uh, Ammunition can't always be 100% right. Maybe you have a malfunction, you need to trade out. Boom, another one right then and there. Uh, as I said, I'm leaving this more in my bag just so for the sake of putting it in and out of my clothing. Um, let's move on to my knife. I know you guys recognize this knife. It's a Boker. I might have been saying it wrong for a while. I thought it was Boker. It Came to find out there's some people that corrected me. Boker. Uh, police tool or cop tool. Uh, this is maybe my 10th year with this knife. Never failed me yet. Uh, went into a little more detail in my last video about it. Um, go check that out again if you're interested. Right. Uh, let's get inside of the bag. Right. Let's show you guys the space in here. It's nice and got quite a bit of depth. Uh... I have, let's go through this top bag. I have, this is something pretty neat. A little plastic kind of knuckle protector, uh, 3D printed. This is pretty cool. I, I can get away with not having something metal on me. This is awesome. A uh, little nifty gadget. Playing cards. Uh, Uno, miniature Uno playing cards. You never know when you're going to pop a tire and get stuck for a while or you know, get held up somewhere a little bit longer than you wanted with the family, and listen, you bust these out in front of the kids, it's on. Somebody's about to lose their lunch money. Uh, my Olight chargers, let's see, uh, army bands, you know, Olight mini torch uh, for my gun light. Let's move right on in here. Um, My first aid kit. Let's put this back down. I've gone into detail, a little more depth in my last videos. Um, it's an ankle kit. It's an uh, IFAC. So we have uh, CPR, another CPR shield, uh, SWAT tourniquet, chest seals. I believe I dumped it out in my last one. Um, in my last video for that, rats tourniquet, uh, bench made cutter, you know what have you it's always really good if you're gonna carry your firearm you gotta carry something else right super awesome let's see what else is in there let's go ahead and move this out of the way for you okay coming up on uh, I have a knife an anklet knife a uh, ghost strike I believe Gerber ghost strike goes right on your pants Skeletonized, very thin, uh, super sharp. Last time I used this was to cut my son's birthday cake because you never know. We didn't have a knife, and guess what? Boom, you know, with the regular bead that I've been having on a lot of my things. Awesome, awesome knife. Uh, wraps around your ankle, you know, very doesn't irritate, doesn't, you know, no one knows you have it on you. Neither does my IFAC or this, you know. I might be able to print on my gun, but, you know, no one looks to your ankles, so, I, you know, boom, secondary knife. Okay, I also have uh, a little lanyard tool from Gerber, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, it's, uh, 
it just releases whatever I need if I'm carrying something specific on me or need a quick release or to look at it again stuff like that carry some carry some cologne some decent spray you know um, you don't want to be stinky you don't want to get caught stinky you know what I mean it's embarrassing so that's all that's in there uh, at least in this main compartment I should say um, you know stuff that I find daily a use for awesome awesome things uh, let me go ahead and put my effect in there because I would like to leave it complete because this won't get used until I use it I need it so I don't want to be searching for things later. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix it now. Or break it some more. One of the two. Okay, so that's how everything fits right in there. Zips right on up. Okay. Uh let's see if we can put the bag in a different angle where it's just a single strap, right? Just a single strap over your body. Um, you can tie this down. It does have these two back latches that go in here um, for a waist strap, but it's just a single throw over strap. Uh, it also has another compartment by your first original strap. What I carry in there is my O light. I've done uh, another review on this. Um, so I want to say this is like six, seven years old. Now, nah, maybe a good six years old. You know, been pushing pretty hard. Good five, right? Victoria Knox. Who doesn't need this? This is old school handy. Um, scissors, uh, toothpick, tweezers, cork opener, screwdriver, knife. You know, always good to have this on you. Second multi tool. You know, this is, again, the redundant, the redundancy in this bag is because I don't like to carry this whole thing if I don't need to. But this is really close to me. What I do carry would be my IFAC, my multi-tool, my firearm, and my knife. Out of this whole kit, this is what I carry. It, you know, I might leave this bag in my car so it's close to me. I carry it on a daily basis. But I don't necessarily carry it with me all the time. I don't have that opportunity. Um, I might be going to go get the mail. I'm not going to take this right to go get the mail. What I will take is my firearm. Okay, so uh, we're on the last last steps of this bag right now. We're going to carry what this bag's main purpose is, which is concealed carry. Um, this is what I'm concealing right here. This is my... Uh, Glock 23. Okay. Glock 23 and a tier one concealed holster. Right. Um, I've spoke about this before. This holster, it's been great, great. I have no complaints about this holster. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about tier one. Um, another thing that I would carry course this is the only thing I'm gonna reach out of my pocket for but it's because it's attached to my pant loop it's your wallet this is what I'm working with still I love this wallet this and this have just since the last review just never failed me great to carry um, just simple Glock 43 or 23 excuse me um, not too many modifications to it. I did the stippling, you know, I switched out magazine release, the mags, um, it, the innards of the gun stayed the same other than the titanium, uh, rod and the trigger. Um, if I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this in a self-defense. I will take it target shooting awesome because I got to stay relevant with my equipment. But if I'm going to use this, this is going to get taken away from me. I don't want the fanciest gun that I have taken away from me. Um, plenty of power. It's a 40 caliber. Uh, 
you know, Olight on it still perfect, perfect. I'm able to replace this if I really wanted to. 40. Um, what I've been carrying lately has been a little different, a little smaller. Uh, I've been getting into leather recently and it's super awesome. So what I have been carrying a lot is my judge, Taurus Judge Public Defender. Um, I might have spoke about this in another video, I'm not too sure. 410, uh, 45 long. This is this is a truck gun, a you know, home defense, self defense gun. Uh, I, I don't know what much more I could say about that, you know, other than it being super great. Again, I'm getting into leather, so I might do another video just on leather itself. Uh, a new knife of mine, new leather holster for it. Um, I'm getting a couple things sent in still that I would like to try out before I make the video. But if you're looking forward for that, leave a comment. Anything that you enjoyed. Um that you would need to see again or a separate video about just to go into a little more detail please let me know um as i said i, I enjoy making these videos for you guys and uh kind of sharing it and and being in this uh sort of environment so i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i enjoyed making it until next time